to remove it. It doesn't take a lot of effort. You could use a 250 pound electric impact gun, which I'm going to be using. Okay, welcome to uh, Jack of All Trades. Another automotive video for you guys to save some money. This is a very expensive job that I'm going to be doing today. You guys can save uh, a couple hundred bucks doing this yourself. If you're not too technical savvy, I suggest taking this to your local Hyundai dealer to do this. Because if you do this wrong, you could destroy your engine. So, but I'm going to show you the steps and how to do it. And if you decide to do this, uh, I'm not held responsible for any uh, results that may entail. But I will show you what I do on my car, step by step. And uh, if you'd like to try this, then you can save yourself some money. Hyundai uh, charges 200 and 220, 240 for this, and it just includes the timing belt change. Uh, today, uh, to, I'm gonna change the tensioner, the Euler pulley, the uh, harmonic balancer bolt, tensioner spring, tensioner bracket, timing belt. Oh, what else am I changing? I think that's about it. So, and I'll show you how to change the water pump, how to change the cam, cam and crankshaft seals as well and uh, the tools you need to do this job and also some of the custom tools I'm using um, if you don't have these custom tools you don't need these custom tools uh, some people use crowbars and, a, and wood blocks and a mallet to remove and install the balancer but I suggest you uh, you know create these tools and take uh, so you don't put any pressure on the crank because uh, it's not good for the thrust bearings the my balancer bolt is held on by 100, I think it's 103 foot pounds of torque, so it's 20 more pounds in the tires. To remove it, it doesn't take a lot of effort. You could use a 250 pound electric impact gun, which I'm going to be using, or you can use the redneck method to bump the starter. And if you're not too sure how to do that, you can Google that online. So, but you risk damaging your vehicle if it slips. So, I'm going to do it the way the mechanics do it by removing it with an impact gun. As for installation, I'll show you that later, how to, how to isolate the engine from spinning because it's an automatic transmission. And it'll just keep spinning. There's no way you can torque that bolt down. I'm not going to torque the bolt down with the impact gun. I'm going to be using my torque wrench. So, uh, Actually, I don't think many people show you that on, online here, how to torque down an automatic transmission uh, balancer bolt. So if you're interested, uh, watch this video and I'll show you how I do it. So, Anyway, um, let's get to the parts. We'll zoom out on each part and... Uh, try to cover the cost the part numbers for you guys so if if you if i if i give you the wrong part numbers by accident or whatever you know i'll try to give you accurate information here go to your local hyundai dealer you can order these parts by giving the make and model of your car and you can order oem parts or you can order aftermarket i ordered the napa timing belt kit with a belt tensioner eyelid pulley and the seals and then I ordered my uh, harmonic balancer bolt, my tensioner spring, tensioner bracket from Hyundai itself. So you can get different parts from different companies. I've used uh, Napa belts on this car for the for four years and have had no troubles. So I'm going to try their timing belt. It's up to you if you want to order the Hyundai timing belt. And like I said, just go to the Hyundai dealer, give them the make and model your car, and they'll will sell you the belt. I believe the Hyundai belt's like 89, 90 bucks just for the belt. I bought this whole kit for under 100 bucks. So let's uh, zoom into the parts and then we'll get started. Okay, as you see here, this is a harmonic balancer installation kit. You can purchase these at any local auto parts store. Uh, this kit will not work on this car. I'm showing this in the video so you don't waste the money buying it. I had this kit previously for the Buick that I had before I made my YouTube channel. It works for some cars, it works, doesn't work for others. Okay, as you see here, here's another kit. This is your standard, uh, this kit is 41751A, this piece. This piece here is useless, it's 41753. When you buy this kit, got this from Napa, I paid a uh, my balancer puller, 8832. Now you're looking at a close up of the uh, timing belt kit. Napa sells kits. For Hyundai, I got this one in the United States near Buffalo. I, because uh, I'm a truck driver, I can move around a lot. So I have a lot of big stuff across the border. Okay, this uh, 
Tie my belt kit was cost ninety four dollars and eight cents. Uh, five two, sorry two five two two eight two zero P is the part number for this kit. The two thousand nine hundred accent four door GLS. What the kit comes with is a tie belt. The tie belt. Uh, let's see here. It says it's made in the USA. Right there. It's your standard tie belt. 105 teeth, that's important. Make sure you count the teeth because the belt that comes off the car is 105 teeth. The one that goes on is 105 teeth. These are optional. When you when you when you get your time belt replaced by Hyundai, they only replace this part. They'll charge you 220, 250 bucks to do it. Plus tax. I'm doing this for uh, what do they say, 90 something dollars? And I'm actually replacing the tensioner and the other pulley. It comes with seals cam and crankshaft seals. These aren't leaking, so I'm not going to replace them, but I'll show you how to get these off and how to replace them. So you can, uh, if you need to replace them, put them on. I'll talk about that briefly. So these tensioners spin millions of times over the duration of, you know, four years. If the timing belt does not break, one of these seizes, your engine's toast. This will seize, this will break the belt, your engine will go out of time and your pistons will hit, hit the valves and then you'll be looking at an engine uh, rebuild or a new engine. So it is suggested, it's up to you. You can do what the Hyundai does, just replace the belt, leave the OEM tensioner and pull it on, or you can replace everything in the time belt system. I don't trust these for another 100000 so I'm going to replace them. The, uh, I'll show you how to inspect them under the car when we get to that point and uh, what to look for for uh, a non-operating uh, tensioner or air pulley. So these are brand new. These come with the kit. Um, so let's continue. I'll show you some more parts that we're going to be using. Okay, this is another part they do not replace. It's the Hyundai Accent OEM harmonic balancer bolt. This bolt um, I purchased, it's part number 23127-26810. Uh, the price was $29.88 for the bolt. Um, I keep one extra one on hand in case you know something happens to the other one when I'm remo removing it. I always like to have extra parts. As for the bolt, over time, the corrosion builds up on the edge of the bolt and it's hard to remove the bolt. So I put a new bolt on. So the, the next Hundred thousand, and I do the via, the uh, time belt change. The bolt will come off a lot easier because there'll be no corrosion on the bolt. That's why I'm replacing the bolt. The uh, so anyway, that's the bolt. Let's let's continue on with some more parts. Okay, the part you here, see here is the tensioner spring. This tensioner spring is is required. Put on the tensioner there to uh, put pressure on the belt. Huh? My daughter. Okay. Anyway, um, the tensioner spring. I ordered that from Hyundai. It's part number two four four two two dash two four zero zero zero, and it's uh, called the spring tensioner. And it was six dollars and thirty five cents. The only thing this is, like I said, once you remove the tension on, put the tension on the belt, the spring. Once you tighten the bolt, the spring becomes useless. It just sits there. It's a backup. So that's an optional piece. You do not have to replace that, but because that's part of the timing belt system, touching the system, I'm replacing every part that has to do with the timing belt system today. So let's grab another part and I'll show you the next part. Okay, let me just uh, put the part in here. This part here goes in there like that. That's called the uh, spacer, tensioner spacer. That's just an aluminum piece. I uh, ordered that from Hyundai. That's the same part number. It's 24421 dash two four zero 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 the other one, the other spring was two four four two two dash two four zero 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 and that part cost six thirty two that part there the bolt goes in here and all this the job of this uh, is to hold the spring to the engine with this bracket and it just moves around like that that's all it is this is not replaced either this is optional but I replaced it today to show you because uh, it's part of the timing belt system so like I said, uh, normally though, like this doesn't wear out. 
But, you know, this is my car, and like I said, I don't want to put new parts on because, you know, make sure everything's running perfect. Okay, some of the tools you're going to need. This is the uh, harmonic balancer bolt uh, impact socket. Your standard kit doesn't come with one of these. If you probably know that by now, if you bought a kit, it stops at 21 millimeters. So you need to go to the store and buy just a 22 millimeter socket. The socket will fit your harmonic balancer bolt. Perfect. This is the socket we're going to use to to remove our harmonic balancer to the bolt today. The uh, so that covers the bolt. The socket was like you know 15 bucks at your local automotive parts center. Every every place sells those, so it's 22 millimeter. Okay, as you see here, are there some of the tools you're going to need to remove the balancer bolt, and you're going to need your standard set of metric sockets. I'm not going to get into that. That's pretty basic stuff. You need a breaker bar, and you might need a pipe to go on the end if you're going to do the redneck method to remove the uh, crank bolt. If you're not going to remove the crank bolt, this is just used to turn the engine around two turns after we're done to seat the belt. It's the only purpose of that. This here, micro torque wrench, it gives me my torque bolt, torque torque settings for my plastic covers on the time belt. This here is my big big one. This one will torque down the harmonic balancer bolt to I think it's 103 or 105 foot pounds. These extensions here, I got three of them. That's just going to get me out from the wheel well. Three of these with the jack stand supporting them, so I can torque down the bolt. So these are just general Another tools you're going to Make sure you remove the negative terminal on the battery. And just put it aside so it's not touching. I got a cap on there, as you see, from an existing battery. Because you don't want to cause any electrical sparks. So you always remove the negative on your battery when you do a time belt job. That's covered in the uh, belt replacement video. So, But you want to do that first before you start undoing any bolts. Okay, before we get started... Uh, Taking off all the belts, you're going to need to remove the engine cover. These are uh, 10 millimeter bolts. You're going to have uh, four bolts on each of the corners here. like that we're gonna take the cover off and then uh, we'll continue okay so now that we've gotten the uh, four bolts off the engine cover take the engine cover off put it aside next thing we're going to do is uh, remove the engine cover bracket this is part of the uh, Timing belt. There are going to be two bolts. They're going to be 10 millimeter, I believe. Yep, 10 millimeter. You have a bolt right here. Bolt right here. That's going to remove this bracket here. So we need to remove that next. Okay, just uh, can't reach that bolt there. Let's pop the wire pump. The uh, power steering fluid reservoir can go off just like that. Help us get to that bolt there. Here. comes a bracket. Just keep all your bolts together so you don't lose them. Okay, as you see in there, I don't know if you can see in there, these are 10 millimeter bolts. You need to remove these four bolts right here. You'll see where I'm pointing. You can only reach them with a wrench. Take them off and loosen them before you take the belts off because you're gonna have a hell of a time getting those off later. So, and that's gonna give us access to take this cover off. And uh, you're gonna hold the harmonic balancer bolt on the crank pulley 
to rotate it as you okay, get to guys, each of these. Okay guys, what I'm going to do now is, like I said, I had to move the water pump pulley bolts. Your three extension bars. That's the, uh, here, let's get this out of here for a second and show you. This is, uh, Uh, 7th 8th socket will also work with this bolt so what you're going to do is you're just going to insert this into here like this and then uh, let's see here let's get this in there there you go you're going to grab uh, three extensions 10 foot extensions put a jack stand there and this is raised up on two two inches so four inches off the ground Cars being jacked up and supported on two spots, jack stand and the jack. And there's the balancer bolt. And we're going to turn this bar this way, clockwise. Never turn counterclockwise when you're working on an engine, always clockwise. So we're going to come up here and I already undid the bolts. But you're going to see when you look down, grab yourself 10 millimeter and you're just going to insert it into these bolts here. There's my wrench, and it's on those bolts right there. You're going to break those four loose. Don't remove them, though. And once those are loose, then we can go and uh, watch those three videos to remove the belts. And then that pulley will come off. And there's going to be a keyway in that pulley. So when you pull that pulley off, it's got to go on the keyway the same way it went back on. So just thought I'd show you that. And like I said, you see right there how that extension's out here like this? It allows me to reach over here to turn that bolt clockwise. It's important. You can see the socket down there where it's connected to. I don't have enough room to get it in this way to do it this way. So I have to approach it from uh, from the bottom. So you don't need to remove the engine mount bracket on this vehicle. Some you do, but this one you don't. So let's uh, get these belts off and then we'll continue.